for once actually he's given something from the break-off shot for his opponent not very close and immediately O'Sullivan with an early opportunity here that looks a very thin snick to the middle bag that one up the table so you may look at something else It really is thin. I'm standing, seeing in the commentary box, thinking that uh, just a coat of paint if he goes for the cut. Well, if he did attempt the cut, there would be a lot of speed on the cue ball and wouldn't have much idea where it was going to finish up. Uh, now he's looking at something else. I totally understand. Good shot as well. He didn't really want play it half-heartedly, where he just got the cue ball down to the bolt cushion. He played it as if he fancied getting it, and being on the blue. Six. Uh, he's changed his mind a couple of times here. Breaks all the rules in doing that, O'Sullivan. You're supposed to get up and Seven. start the shot all over again, but he's managed to do it all his career. The black is now a missable one. Bit of pressure on this. Oh. <laughs> I think he let out a little groan there. Forty. <laughs> Knocking the red over the pocket away. <coughs> Nothing easy here into a blind pocket. He can't see the opening of pocket on this shot. Oh, that's a really, really good shot. 15. Still not quite in prime position, even this shot. Hard to avoid any other reds in potting this one to the middle. Excellent. 21. Beautiful cannon. Well, one more sort of 50-50 shot here. And all the reds are really there for him. If he looks as and gets on the blue, he should be away. Twenty-nine. This is starting to shape up as the 896th century of O'Sullivan's career. Already he's made more than any other player. 34. 35. And he believes he could get to the thousand before he's done. All the shots are coming out now. 
right hand running side around two cushions there. 42. Forty-three. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. Sixty-seven. Well, at the point of almost no return here, sixty-seven, the difference with that amount on. That's now becoming irrelevant because O'Sullivan is going to win. And while I might have seen him play better, in fact, I know I have in his career. I think, Clive, his control 75. has been absolutely exceptional. His safety has been good. His break building has been up there. Positional play, cue ball on a string. It's all been there, hasn't it? True class. It has. And I think that this is 81. his basic level of performance these days. 82. He's not just playing well every now and again. He's playing well every match. Eighty-eight. Eighty-nine. And the snooker public revels in the style and artistry with which O'Sullivan compiles these breaks. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. So there we are, century number eight, nine, one six. One. Only another hundred and four to go. Four hundred and six thousand. The question of when that happens, not if, for me. Uh, you were right, you called it a, a quite an early stage, but as I say, when his cue ball is under such tight control, then you wonder where it can all go wrong. Nine. Send the lights off, please. It's a very difficult game, Snooker, but Ronnie O'Sullivan can make it look ludicrously easy at times. 112. Hundred and hundred and twenty-one. The first two frames were shared and were relatively quiet. Robertson scored first with 44 in the third frame, but O'Sullivan took it with a run of 70, then one of 72. Yeah. 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 With that clearance of 134, he clinches his victory. So, Ronnie O'Sullivan beats Neil Robertson much more.
Sweet harmony, in the sweet harmony. 